Gotcha, you stupid son of a gun. Oh my lord. Hello everyone. Welcome back to more Steven Amount Play Tulip. I got Voodoo Kid. Voodoo, Voodoo doll. doll. He hit me right before. Was I at 45 health? Mm, you were slightly below, I thought. Slightly below? Can't remember exactly where I was at. He but only he... hurts you 10. Okay, then he must have done 10. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, at least that guy's written off. Uh, taking care of some stuff that needed to be done before we, uh, continue on. 520, I will take that. Uh, we're also missing the, um... Nobby Tengu? The what? The guy with the big nose. The rooster? He's not a rooster. He's he looks like, like a rooster. It's a traditional mask, or maybe it's a traditional demon or something. It's a rooster. Watch uh, out for him. You're stuck. Okay. He goes away. In like a second. Yeah, he's gone. In fact, he's gone. And the other guy comes at six, right? Yes. All right. Up. Here, up. Here is my chance to redeem myself. Up. Up, 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 up. I you could, missed it. I did? Yeah, go up right there. Oh, okay. And his hole's right there, so you could peek in it quick. Oh, I can peek in it and see what see it's... See if he gives you any hints about maybe something. I don't know. Yeah, I like hints. I don't like the sound effect it makes when it what says underground wrong? residence. It's a little frightening. <laughs> you don't think it looks like a rooster? No. It's because it doesn't. I apologize. He's holding a marijuana leaf. One, two, worldly desire tempo. Snobby Tengu's life. Age 18, hobby stamps. The saying of the day is, I have to train my abs and neck. My nose is heavy. <laughs> All right, you could probably go wait over there then. That's over here, right? It's yeah. Th right it's here. It's that one. Okay. All right, we're gonna give this another shot, folks. Okay. No problem. Dang. I, th I thought that would have been like kiss him. I uh, can only kiss him when he falls. Is that it? He has to fall. I think he lands on his nose. There, he's in a fever. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was, I was ahead of the game there. I, I kissed him before he even got up. But he got up and he was like, yeah, man, I'd, I'd really need that right now. Also, <laughs> is his nose shoved into my brain right now? No, his nose shrank because he fell on it. That's what he wanted. His nose was too big. Oh, even though that has technically happened already. It just grew back or something. Yeah, it does. And there it is. Um, well, that was weird. Uh, give me money. 340. I'm getting, I'm getting, uh, getting money to get paid. All right, so now what? Long life town. Are you kidding? That was the monk. Where's, he, where's he going? To go get money from places for people to donate. D he's fast. I know. He's really fast. He doesn't He doesn't take the train like I do. No. Okay. All right. So now we have to You need go to get back. Goro out of jail. I gotta get Goro out of jail. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to go home and rest first. That's fine. Let's do that first. Today, Chu kissed Voodoo Doll. Snobby Tengu? Charcoal? Bell? Diddy? Lover's tree, lover's tree, my son has successfully kissed for the first time! That means... Chu has kissed 25 times in his whole life. He could do better. Keep trying and become a man with a strong heart. The next goal is three kisses. So we can probably do three kisses pretty easily. Yes. But that's not really our goal right now. Our, Our goal right now is to kiss above ground residents. We have three we need to work on. Oh, Sorry, it, two, and then one's underground. And if we take care of those three, we'll get to level eight. Correct. We're leveling up, man. We're doing really well. I'm actually, I'm pretty pleased with, with how we're doing. So uh, Matt was telling me when I was on my way over here that we can also start getting some bugs inspected. Yes. Because we don't need you to- You have like four dead cicadas. Yeah. Um, oh, I can run indoors too. How nice. Good to go ahead and save, because it's been a bit. Look at that lady killer. Look at that lady killer. All right, I'm out. So, uh, we are going to check the bugs. Yes. You need to go speak to Baten Yan, the guy with the purple outfit and the The teeth. guy with the teeth? Guy with the teeth. He walks out of his house soon. Sins in front of it. He's God, right here. being able to run is the best. Do I talk to him or just present him with bugs? I would talk to him first and then maybe present him with a bug. Who's snoring? He's in oh, his house Oh, you just got asleep. here. 
You don't need to give him any more money. No, and I won't, but that's very nice. Man, the thing is, if you wouldn't have a guide for this... Go in this... his house. Oh, you can go in. Oh, I've never been in his house. Oh, this will be fun. He's asleep. Can't yeah, wait for him to wake up. I will steal all of his things. Oh, what's this? What's... There, there you go. go. Famous song, Island of Eternal Summer. Summer, summer, hot island, oh, vacation. Take me there, aloha, eh? <laughs> um, nothing else here. Uh, buddy. He wakes up pretty late, like 10 or 11 or 12. He's a very small house mm -hmm. and sleeps on a couch. It looks like an old bus, like there's a driver's seat. There's also no bathroom. Yes. Well, there's a sink. Uh... I, shudder at the, I shudder at the thought. All right. It's 10, man. You can't sleep the day away. There you go. You wake up at like 10.30-ish. Can we talk, please? Did he just switch his teeth? Hmm. He might have. There's a lot of weird, intricate things that the only way to, to, to see would be to... um. Oh, you wanted me to talk to him first? You can show him. Just show him, see I'm what he does. just show him. Hey. Oh, that's a dead cicada. In spite of my appearance, I know a lot about bugs. That is called Long Life Cicada, and there are many of them in this town. Was it helpful to you at all? You want, like, a sleepy cicada. So, can I toss this? Yeah. I don't need this. No. You sure? Yes. Okay. So I threw that away. Now I'm going to show him this one. Oh, that's a dead cicada! In spite of my appearance, I know a lot about bugs. That is called Long Life Cicada, and there are many of them in this town. Was it helpful to you at all? So I'll throw this one away. Yes. <laughs> Eat. I bet it hurts you because everything is willing to hurt you. Let's try this one. Oh, that's a dead cicada. See, in spite of my appearance, I actually know a lot about bugs. That is called that's what you need. Sleep Cicada. And it's used as an ingredient for some medicine. So we want to keep that one. Very rare and valuable. So do we just need one? You just need one. So You can toss the other. Okay, so now I can go into my inventory and take this. And get rid of that. And toss. Mm -hmm. Do I need him to check anything else? No. But the frogs that you've been looking for in the trash can behind Someone the temple. Someone else checks them. Oh, he doesn't. Okay, he just no. checks bugs. All right. Are great, you ready for more you, fetch quests? Oh, Mal, I love it. I love it. I, I okay. get so hot and bothered by fetch quests. Go talk to Julie. Oh, my lord. At least I can run. Yes. I, I, at least I can run except for this cutscene where I walk slowly. I wonder if you will get the um, fortune, fortune teller there ever. Yeah, he, they've never talked to me, and I'm kind of... Down. ...kind of sad about that. You should also... Yeah. Should also what? Peek in that hole. Which hole? That one right there. There's a hole here? Yeah. Found a hole. God, I love it. I love <laughs> I love the holes. Underground residence. Thief it's, Tiptoe uh, the Fourth. Who is this? Thief Tiptoe the Fourth. Okay. I believe you. Looks like he's stealing stuff from the restaurant. And lots of money. He is a thief. Makes sense. 1-1. One, one, long life town. Thief tiptoe the fourth's life. Age 32. Hobby. Bonsai. The saying of the day is... Date. XXXX. They arrested the bar owner's husband. I have never been arrested before. <laughs> Where was he taken to? I think Mr. Policeman knows. I wish I could ask him. So he would have said something if you had looked in this hole sooner. Yes. Which is you interesting. You need to talk to Julie. Are they open? She's asleep. Okay, but I can get into her house anyway. And... I was going to say, she, oh, is she up? Okay, that was easy. Hi. Oh. Time to cook. Julie? Julie, honey. Julie, snap out of it. You're sleepwalking again. Hi, we, we need to chat. Goro? Oh, he's not home yet. It's not like he was sentenced to death. He'll be back. Alright, so you need to talk to her, you need to peek in the hole, and then you gotta go talk to the policeman. So, as long as we've talked to them, we're good. That is the most annoying bird. Yeah. Alright, so now we run across town 
to Mr. Policeman. Is that his actual name? Police, yeah, Mr. Policeman. Of course it is. Hello. What do you want? Um. How are you? How how are you, how are you doing, Mr. Policeman? I felt good when I arrested a guy the other day. I wish I could do it one more time. Goro? He had three crime stamps and now he's in the graveyard. The cemetery is at the Worldly Desire Temple. Say hello to his family for me. What's the other stuff do? You can find out. What's pick when up you throw something away, he gets it. Oh, so if you ever toss something, he gets it. Yes. So he had... So wow. If you ever lost something you needed, he would have it. Oh, does he, does he take everything? Like, does he have the dead cicadas I don't even need? Correct. And the poopy you threw away. Or I threw away. Wow. What's turn in something? Um, that's for later. Okay. Goodbye. So he likes arresting people. How do you think you get a kiss from him? Uh, getting arrested? Yep. Go up that way. Uh, you need to buy cigarettes. What the crap is this? They're having a fight. Oh. <laughs> now, I don't remember. I think you buy cigarettes from the comic shop. Okay, and we need to buy cigarettes to get arrested? That's one of the things you need to do. Oh my god. What? You can't smoke unless you're 18! So... Buy tobacco. Buy tobacco anyway. Uh-huh. Also, your card. Weekly comic, monthly comic, go-go comic. Okay, tobacco. Yes. But he sold it to me. He did. What? Thanks. Okay. So now we have to go use it in front of the cop? Correct. Oh my god. How old is Chu? 12? 14. 14. Is well, her... she's 14. She's 14, and presumably he's 14 also. Don't show it to him, just use it. Oh, just use it over here? Yeah. So he can see? Yes. <laughs> Look what I'm doing. I'm smoking tobacco. <sighs> really? Oh my god. What just happened? You got hurt. Um. Are you smoking? It's a crime for kids to smoke. I'm checking your criminal record. Your crime stamp total is now one. When you get three crime stamps, you'll be sent to the graveyard. Be careful. You should probably eat a heart chocolate. Um... I think smoking takes away all but one. That makes sense to me. Um, so, ho hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah. So I smoked. Uh-huh. It in just instant nearly killed me. Yes. And I have one crime stamp. Correct. So I have to get three? Yes, not with smoking. You have to get them in other ways. Okay. Do you remember the three rules of the town? Um, no, but they're on, a th they're on the board, right? Yeah, it's like... No n nudity, no smoking, and then there was something else. Oh my god. We should have been nude and smoked at the same time. Would have really pissed him off. Let's see here. Keep your clothes on, do not smoke, do not steal. So we need to get naked? Yeah. And steal. Yes. So I'm assuming we go to the bathhouse, get naked, and wander in front of him. Yes. You should probably buy some more chocolates, though, before okay. she closes up. Yeah, I, I probably should have. We got rid of a lot of cicadas, so we have some room. I, I think I'm gonna buy two. Um, seems like a good idea. Now, if I'm not mistaken, in the- in the Japanese version of the game, um, Chu actually was naked. Yes, he does not cover himself, and- or he does cover he himself- He covers himself, but he's but he not like wearing underwear. he has like a little underwear. black underwear on. Yeah, in the- in the- in the US version, he's wearing underwear. Um, I have two, should I get more or no? Yeah, just get one more. And then eat one, and give yourself some more hearts. Okay. Okay. Thanks, lady. All right. Let Thanks, Miss Plum. Please stop talking to me. Uh, heart chocolate. Eat. Better. All right. My life is complete now that I've eaten chocolate in her store. Her store is a wreck. Mm-hmm. Really needs to clean up. All right. Leo. Let's go get naked. I don't know what time Leo comes in, but it's not yet. It's like in the evening. But when is the... How, when does the policeman start patrolling? Hey, wait, we're not open yet. <laughs> That's how he fills the tub. 
Oh my god, I bathed in that. You did? Come back when we're open, freshen up. We go on the side. You can't. Uh, no, I'm not. Okay, that that is the greatest crime. Uh, okay, so we're just gonna wait here until it opens at some point. Two hundred Z per person. You want to take a bath? Uh, it, well, you know, it's it's not really about taking a bath. I just really want to get naked, and for some weird reason, this is the only place I can do it. So I have to sneak out, right? Yeah. Stay far away from him. Sneak. Sneak. Sneaking. Sneaking. Yeah, everything's good. I'm out. So just go straight to the police. Straight to the policeman. Oh god! Oh god! That didn't work, Mal. No, does he? Ha does it have to be daytime? Do you Clearly, think you need to because hide at out? night he tries to shoot you. Don't, don't sneak back that way. What, what do I do? I would go wait in the empty lot. The empty lot. Yeah. Or back that way. Where, no, where's the empty lot? The one that um her hides in. On oh your my. side of town. So I'm naked and I gotta go just chill. Yeah. All night. My clothes gonna be there when I get back? Don't worry about it. Okay. All right. Hey, you want your fortune told? Uh, I can't move my hands. Alright, so now... Just go... Or you could hide out behind Batignans or something. So just chill here. Oh! She's using a telescope. telescope. That's neat. Okay, yeah, well... Yeah, you'd be safe there. And we just have to wait until morning. Just wait until morning. Oh my god. Oh, so nice of you to wake up. I'm burying all just for you, buddy. Oh, someone seems upset. You are naked! It's a crime to walk around naked! I'm checking your criminal record. Your crime stamp total was now two. Put some clothes on. You look too skinny. Got a gunpoint? <laughs> yes. When you get three crime stamps, you'll be sent to the graveyard. Be Quick careful. Quick run to Julie's. Huh? Quick run to Julie's. Run. 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 Yeah, where, you could... Where am I kissing him, Mal? Uh, in the alleyway. Okay. So he's gonna go into Julie's. No, is that what yes, you said? Yes, he's gonna go sneak into hers. He's stealing her hairpin. And the... it. He said... You said it's gonna get stuck in the door? He gets stuck in the alleyway like his bag does. In the alleyway? What the heck is that? It's the train, I think. God, the camera. You can't control the camera, no. so. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. I want to kiss you so bad. It's all I've ever wanted in my life. So what was he supposed to do? Now, what I have from the manual and from online says that after Charcoal, speak with Belle and then go to Julie at the bar. Look in the thief's hole, talk to the police in the morning, and then Julie when she's awake. Wait for the thief to enter and exit Julie's, and he's kissable when his bag is stuck in the alley. <laughs> okay, well that... ...did not... ...happen, so, um... I don't know, look in his hole, see if he stole it. He's supposed to steal something, and you're supposed to get it from him by kissing him. And then you go show it to the police officer, and you're like, hey, look at this thing, and he's like, you stole that, and that's your third crime stamp. Okay, okay, I understand the process now, yeah. We'll slowly lower ourselves down into this hole. More than likely, I imagine it, it's going to be the exact same thing that it was before, Mal. Maybe he gives us a date. Remember how he was like, date XXX? Yeah, but that was when he was talking about when they arrested the bar owner. Mm. Where was he taken to? I think Mr. Policeman knows. Okay. 
Well, it says, you know, look in the thief's hole, talk to the police in the morning, and then Julie when she's awake. So maybe you need to go talk to the police officer and then her in the specific order. Let's go inside and uh, give her a real quick chat just to see if she says anything new before we end the episode. What? Sent to the graveyard? So this is new. That's why he didn't steal the thing. No way. Um. Okay. And you're back. <laughs> I spoke to Mr. Policeman. My husband sleeps beneath a tombstone. He won't ever come back here. Are you okay? I mean, he also threw a bottle at your head. You, you yeah. gotta remember this part. Maybe I can commit a crime just to be with him. Okay, that's why it didn't work. Yeah, we needed to trigger that first. I see. All right, next episode, folks, we will uh, we'll start the episode by getting that object. The hairpin? Uh, yeah, whatever from the thing, mm -hmm. from the guy, and then we'll be all set. And uh, we'll be able to go to the graveyard with Mr. Goro. That'll be interesting. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time for more Stephen Amount Play Tulip. He seems very excited to arrest you. But in previous episodes, Aww. he's talked about that. Aw, you are so sad that you got arrested. Hey, man, you do the crime, you do the time. Now you're on the special criminal train. I'm a criminal. <laughs> this game is so wacky. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs>